Ah, I will continue with the same topic, open access educational resources. Uh, most of our newspapers are online, uh, along with the uh, backlogs, archives, up to 10 years are freely available. If you want to access articles published in Deccan Herald, Hindu and Times of India, they are available, freely available. Articles up to 10 years are available. And the latest newspapers are uh, in soft copies available online. Almost all newspapers you can access online. And important uh, magazines at international level, BBC News, New York Times, Washington Post, Newsweek, Cosmopolitan, Atlantic, Esquire, TechCrunch, Slate, all these magazines, popular magazines are also available online and national newspaper, including local newspapers are also available online. You can access freely. If you want, you can download also. So nowadays, uh, newspapers are not preserved for long duration because uh, it absorbs uh, sulfur and acidity from atmosphere and it, it turns yellowish. It becomes brittle. When you rush through the pages, it crumble into pieces and fall down on the ground. They are easily susceptible for insect attack. Therefore, instead of newspapers, we have got newspaper digest with the title Keysing's Record of World Events. Earlier it was called Keysing's Contemporary Archives. Nothing but digest of newspaper at international level. For example, you want to uh, know the information about uh, uh, August 8, 1942, an air crash which occurred during the Second World War. So it is very difficult to trace that information. Even if you go to that press, newspaper press, they will give you the entire volume of August 1942. Uh, you will uh, end up consuming a lot of dust. That small piece of information will miss your attention. You will miss your attention. You will miss the attention. Uh, you will not get that piece of information, but on the web, it is uh, it is easy to access that information immediately. So, Kissing's record of world events uh, at Mysore City Library, uh, we have the collection, hard copy collection from 1949 to 1994. 1994. Now, it is available on the web from 1931 to present. 1931 to present, Kissing's record of world events. So here onwards, we are going to discuss about uh, e-books, electronic books, amazon.com. You will get a list of latest books from Amazon. You can also uh, buy books at second hand rate, or if you have got a collection of books, you can sell it at second hand rate also. All these possibilities are there with Amazon. Then ABE books, Pestia.com, greatbooks.com, Barnes and Nobel, Motilal, Banarasidas.com, Oxfordbooks.com, ebookstore, Sony.com, then National Library of India, oh, all these National Book Trust of India, Developing Library Network. These are the portals of relating to ebooks. Here we have got the publishers of ebooks, Springer. With largest number of ebooks, about three lakh books are made available on their portal. EBSCO, Tyler and Francis, CRC Press, Wiley, these are the ebook publishers. Elsevier, McGraw-Hill, Pearson, Sage Reference Books, Crado Reference Books, Cambridge University Press, Oxford University Press, Emerald and Society publications like American Chemical Society, American Institute of Physics. So Mysore City has purchased most of these books. We, they have purchased books worth of about 12, 12 crore rupees. Uh, about 24,000 books are uh, e-books are available uh, at Mysore City Library. They have facilitated uh, remote access also using EZ proxy. So popular uh, e-book stores, uh, uh, Book A Million, Borders, 
uh, indie bookstore ready books flickart alibris infibeam google scholar world public library so amazon uh, 40 subject headings 21000 employees work for amazon here you will get the list of latest books published along with the best books of the year highest number of copies sold during that year and you can also buy books at second hand rate also that's also possible with uh, amazon.com google scholar will also give you lakhs and lakhs of uh, research articles and extracts of books here you can you cannot download uh, the books or journal articles you are supposed to read online there itself uh, they are also uh, providing the format of bibliographies format of bibliographies like uh, american psychological association format then uh, i e format like that uh, you will be getting the bibliographical formats book a million about 2 million titles are downloadable they will facilitate downloading of ebooks onto kindle kindle ebook reader and dicey reader is for visually challenged students and kindle is for uh, normal students who want to get the books downloaded onto book readers <clears throat> borders books bookstore about 400 uh, bookshops were there all over america now they have become bankrupt because of the extensive use of uh, online books and ebook readers borders even in india uh, about uh, two decades ago there were 27 branches of uh, higginbottoms 27 branches in all over major cities of the country and 12 branches at railway station and 12 branches at uh, airports now they have closed all the branches they have closed except two branches in chennai so this is because of uh, uh, drastic uh, uh, reduction in reading habit. Flipkart, they also facilitate downloading of ebooks onto Kindle and Dicey Reader. So you can search books and order books, best sellers, best rate, top authors, top searches you can conduct. Popular fictions and literature books are also made available. <clears throat> Indie bookstore. Speciality, display of large book cover with author's biography and book summary. List of best sellers, buy online. You can buy books online. <clears throat> Reading books, similar to Google Scholar, about 30 lakhs books freely available. 500 categories of books are provided here. American libraries, don't forget this one. I have told here and there, uh, Shodh Ganga, don't forget Shodh Ganga, repository of thesis, then e Shodh Sindhu. e Shodh Sindhu, the service is from UGC Infringement Center. It is nothing but uh, access to 7,500 journals to universities and 6,500 journals to degree colleges. So American Libraries is one of the uh, open platform for readers 1000 american libraries have joined together they have scanned their library books and hosted on the site so that anybody can access free of cost anybody can download free of cost about 33 lakhs books are available they will be circulating books uh, within united states so that users can borrow and retain the book for two weeks you can also access and see the availability. Extracts you can read. About several lakhs of books, up to eight lakhs of books you can read online. You can download. You can download. You can read. If you are tired of reading, there is an option, audio option. If you select the option, software will read the book for you. You can sit in the couch and listen to the software. Software will read the book for you. This facility is there with AmericanLibraries.org. Internet Archive. Canadian libraries.org. Here, 5,15,000 books are made available here. You can download, you can read online. Barnes and Nobel. 
this is an old uh, very large and old bookshop in the united states they are specialized in book rarities old books rare books book out of stock book out of print uh, they are specialized in tracing the book and supplying the book to you you quote any book uh, any old book published during 1920 1910 uh, you assign the task to them they will trace the book and supply the book to you provided you must be ready to pay the cost quoted by them so barnes and noble is a large bookshop in the united states they will supply rare books and book out of print uh, for specific readers based on the order you have to place order then world ebook library 30 million books are made available here bangalore university uh, is facilitating access to world ebook then project uh, <coughs> gutenberg uh, about 57000 books now it is 67000 books they are available freely for those who are interested then this is an interesting uh, site uh, facilitating access to national digital library of india national digital library is in calcutta with a collection of several crores of books so as of today iit karakpur has digitized and hosted the contents of 60 million items 60 million means 6 crore items are made available freely on the web 70 languages kannada tamil telugu hindi these books are made available freely so that anybody in the country can access the ebook provided from national library of india the website is uh, uh, created at uh, karakpur iit indian institute of technology karakpur very interesting one don't forget this one national digital library of india z library you can try this one about 3.5 35 lakh ebooks are made available here and 52 uh, million articles are available here and uh, teachers who are in the discipline of economics commerce and management science so if you are interested in the reports of international monetary fund oecd report or world bank report you can access on their website so eric uh, education uh, educ educ institute of education sciences you will get access to 1000 articles appeared in or published in 1000 education related journals so teachers in the field of education they can access uh, important uh, report literature important journal articles uh, from eric open textbook library supported by open education network university of minnesota <coughs> what you get here is textbooks uh, especially for students textbooks full full te full text available it is on open access platform student can access textbooks freely at graduate level as well as masters degree level so open textbook library open stacks transform learning so that education works for every student textbooks and resources uh, order for print copy you have to order for print copy online you can read so physics sociology biology then uh, uh, mike economic literature mathematics psychology history statistics these textbooks are made available on the platform it's an open access library even the courseware prepared by teachers are also made available uh, then the open stacks tour is also arranged so subjects covered are mathematics statistics science social science humanities and business management so many uh, students uh, who are preparing for competitive examination and many students at degree level they are seen relying upon the textbooks uh, published by ncert 
NCRT, New Delhi. Uh, what you get as subject to basic book, textbooks relating to chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, English, accountancy, business studies, economics. Then CBS study materials and Baiju's MCQ solutions, multiple choice questions. So NCRT history textbooks are also made available uh, from standard 6th to 12th. Set of 10 books are made, provided here. You can access online and read many of the textbooks prepared in brief, mainly suitable for those who are preparing for competitive examination like IIS, KAS, banking examination, defense examination, staff selection commission. So various examination if you are preparing for appearing for test, entrance test, you can rely upon NCERT textbooks. Merlot is another international platform of educators, learners and researchers started by California State University, online learning, support materials with uh, important books, about 95, 1 lakh resources are made available here. They have got member of about 1 lakh 90,000 members. They can share among their colleagues and classmates. Then WordCat, it's a large database, large database of bibliographical database. It will tell you uh, the complete bibliographic details of books, author, title, place of publication, publisher, and year of publication, including type of binding and page number. So as of today, about 25 crore books are made available here, 250 million items. And it also indicates where, uh, which library possesses the book. If you select a book, it will give you the bibliographic details. And it will also tell you which library is holding that book. So by selecting the journal, if you are interested in contributing your article to journal, you have to consider some of the criteria, like uh, whether it is Indian journal or foreign journal. What are the subjects covered by that journal? Then you have to refer to the author guidelines. Uh, they mention the format. And you see the popularity and number of copies circulated. Then time frame. If you submit article today, uh, how many months do they take to publish your article? Then citations index, whether it is indexed by Web of Science, Scopus, IEEE, then consider the impact factor. Impact factor speaks about the quality of the journal. Quality of the journal. How do you arrive at impact factor? Total number of references divided by total number of articles published in that journal over a period of two years. This gives rise to the impact factor. Impact factor speaks about the quality of the journal. You have to select a journal depending on the quality. Quality means the impact factor. Any, any journal whose impact factor is above 4 and 5, it's good. Uh, if you publish your paper in a journal whose impact factor is 10, you will be getting 10 score. It is equivalent to successfully guiding for a doctorate degree. Then you see the, whether it is published by commercial organization, society, or educational institution, or university. Whether it is in print format or open access format. Uh, whether it is in uh, soft cover, whether it is in online version or print version. Then you see whether they are collecting any processing charges, editorial fee and all that. Then you have to consider the uh, periodicity. If it is half yearly, they will take more than one year to publish your article. If it is weekly and fortnightly, there is every chance of getting your article published within three to four months. These are the criteria to be considered while contributing your research articles to journals. So while selecting journal, be careful. You are not supposed to contribute your research article to predatory journal. What do you mean by predatory journal? Publishing just for the sake of making money. They make money for a period of two to three years and they disappear all of a sudden. So UGC has already issued notification. Uh, if you publish a research article in predatory journal, 
or if you contribute to a predatory conferences and seminar that will not be considered for promotion selection then career advancement and scholarship it will not be considered so be careful predatory journals means they are publishing your article just for the sake of making money so you have to be careful there are so many predatory online journals in india you have to be very careful then sai hub here you can see alexandria ibakit an it graduate from kazakhstan she has created a website if you copy doi or uh, url address if you paste it on our website you need not pay it will automatically open so people have uh, gone to the court and tried to sue her but uh, they have not become successful uh, last year a case was uh, there in before delhi high court they have delivered the verdict it is a violation of copyright in india but uh, we are not bothered about what is going on in kazakhstan but in india if you copy doi or url and copy that one to our website it may open but actually it is violation of copyright law and it is punishable according to delhi high court so this should not be practiced so far about 1 crore research articles and ebooks are made freely accessible to various readers from kazakhstan website her contention her argument is that these uh, publishers of journals they are getting research papers from research scholars to publish their article they are collecting money and to provide access to these research papers again they are collecting money so they the researcher should not be penalized they are the contributors and they are the readers so you must provide access free access to researcher that is our contention because they are the contributors and they are the readers you are collecting fees from contributors as well as readers this should be avoided according to alexandria ebeck that is our contention this is our website so this should not be practiced in india here is our website if you copy doi or url address website address and paste it on to this website uh, it will open even though you are not the subscriber uh, it will open it will bypass all payment restrictions so most of the career oriented information sources competitive examination like ias ks then career opportunities job opportunities their portals are freely available you can access union public service commission state public service commission banking um, service recruitment board railway recruitment board staff, staff selection commission defense research development organization then university employment guidance bureau all these have got their website you can access freely and get information without making any payment these are on open access platform uh shiksha study abroad somebody is interested in studying in various uh, foreign universities you can rely upon this one the national career service portal ministry of labor and employment then employment news weekly is made available online career builder find a job naukri.com they are available and fast better times job all these are job career information resources so while uh, uh, providing references or bibliography you have to be good how to render bibliography and references manually and another alternative is you, you can rely upon uh software there are software which will automatically render bibliography bibliography as well as references endnote is the product of thomson and reuters mendeley is the product of elsevier zotero is the product is an open source from george mason university then papers the product of springer 
all these are reference managers they will automatically render citations author title place of publication publisher and year of publication in case of journals author title name of the journal volume number issue number date of publication starting page of the article and ending page of the article this is the standard format for rendering bibliography and references and you have to select a definite format whether american psychological association or vancouver format oxford referencing system harvard referencing system like that or mlf book format or chicago style manual format any selected uh, format you can select now uh, nowadays uh, government is telling us to uh, provide uh, reading facility or educational facility to visually challenged and physically challenged students as well in mysore city uh, we have established learning resource center for physically challenged and visually challenged students so here you can see sara book reader uh, with uh, 200 gb capacity about 5000 to 6000 books uh, can be stored on this equipment to 200 gb capacity it cost around 2 lakh rupees so with uh, if you place any book on the platform it will start uh, reading the book automatically any book if you place it on the platform it will start reading the book automatically so there are uh, uh, 42 different types of accent american accent australian accent british accent russian accent indian accent like that there are 42 different types of accent you can select the accent of your choice you can increase or decrease the speed of reading you can increase or decrease the volume so this is a, a e book sara book reader so any book if you place on the platform the equipment will start reading the book for visually challenged students we have got two equipment of this one uh, any, any student facing difficulty because of low vision problem in mysore city there are number of students who move freely in on the campus without any difficulty everywhere on the campus they move freely but they cannot recognize our faces they cannot read because of low vision problem partial blindness for them there are uh, equipment magnification equipment they can also make use of this uh, book readers sara book reader on uh, this is the product of uh, freedom scientific us uh, we have imported all this equipment freedom scientific has come out with uh, <coughs> 25 to 30 various hardware and software products suitable for visually challenged students here on the left hand side you can see uh, angel book reader angel book reader on the right hand side you can see plex talk the output will be uh, uh, better in case of plex talk but uh, in mysore city we have distributed angel book among the students research scholars and some of the faculties as well who are visually challenged and uh, the capacity is 5 gb capacity about 100 books can be stored on this equipment while walking on the road while traveling by bus or train they can listen to the reading of books uh, it will uh, uh, there is provision to listen to fm radio also it will record classroom lectures for 3 hours 3 in 1 which cost 9500 rupees yes, sir biotech or handle matter illa 9 biotech or na keli so it is a portable one portable one uh, before distributing this equipment uh, the visually challenged students were scoring uh, 55 60% after distributing this uh, uh, angel book reader they have started securing 70 75% very useful percent this cost only 9500 rupees we have got uh, nearly 20 equipment of angel book reader we have distributed among the six or seven research scholars 
and about two faculty members are making use of this one. There is provision to listen to FM radio also. 100 books can be stored in this equipment. This is Prisma magnifier. And this is for low vision student. The text will get magnified up to 42 times, 42 times. One newspaper will appear building size. It is convenient for him to read. This is magnification, a screen magnification software. <coughs> Topaz magnifier, again 42 times magnification. The background sometimes will be yellow, sometimes orange, sometimes green. Depending upon the convenience uh, of the student, they can select the background. Letters will be in black color. The background will be in different color. Uh, eyes will not be strengthful for some of them if they select green color. For some, it will be convenient if they select yellow color. So topaz magnifier, this cost about 80,000 rupees. Uh, newspaper will appear building size here. Topaz magnifier for low vision student, not totally blind student. This is a, a graphic embosser. Graphic embosser. Maps, diagrams will get embossed. A visually challenged student, when they place their finger on the embossed surface, they can imagine the map, uh, the borders of the country. They can imagine the diagrams or whatever that is there. This is a graphic embosser. Here, this is braille printer, V4 braille printer. Left hand side, you can see ordinary braille printer. Right hand side, you can see V4 braille printer. V4 braille printer can print a book of 200 pages in 15 minutes. Heavy duty printer, this cost about 15 lakh rupees. So ordinary printer, dot matrix printer for braille script is also made available in the library. Students can get the material printed here. Braille printers. These are uh, talking software. So whatever that is on the screen, we sighted people will read out the, what is there on the monitor. But uh, uh, for visually challenged student, the software will read out what appears on the monitor. If you receive email, it appears on the monitor. Sighted people will read out the text. Whereas visually challenged people, this software will read out what is there on the, what appears on the monitor. This cost about 90,000 rupees per license, just talking software, American talking software. So whatever that is there on the monitor, it will read out the visually challenged students can listen to that screen reading software. Windows I is another software and we have got NVDA in India, visual, NVDA, non-visual, Disk access software, which is a open source software, freely available for visually challenged students. So these two are commercial software, just talking software and Windows I. NVDA is an open access software. Most of the visually challenged student relies upon NVDA. In library, we have loaded the just talking software for 20 systems. So any students, any student without the permission or without the letter um, uh, can avail the facility if they come to Mysore City Library. Uh, this is a Duxbury Braille translation software. <clears throat> 12 Indian languages uh, get converted into Braille script. Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Hindi, like that 12 Indian languages will get converted into Braille script. Translation. So uh, any book published in India uh, can be converted into Braille script using this software. Uh, during 2012, Parliament has lifted copyright restriction. For the benefit of students, uh, yet, any book the lab starter must start my Braille script. Any book can be converted into Braille script in India uh, since 2012. So Duxbury Braille translation software for the benefit of 
visually challenged students. This is the latest invention of Freedom Scientific USA, uh, refreshable braille display. So whatever uh, the text that is received through email or whatever text that appears on the monitor will get converted into braille script. For example, when we receive email that will appear on the monitor for visually, for the benefit of visually challenged student, when they receive mail, it gets converted into braille script and that will be displayed on this board. When they place the finger on the board, they can read the text instantaneously, faster than the uh, sighted people. So we have got uh, this equipment, two equipment of this kind. This costs nearly 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees, refresh of a braille display board. So visually challenged students, when they receive some information, it will get converted into braille script automatically. And that braille script will be displayed on the board. When they place the finger on the board, they can read the information instantaneously. Immediately they can read. Uh, this is a single line keyboard. This is for uh, physically challenged. If one arm or upper limb is not movable or absent, a uh, student can operate with a single line keyboard. If both the uh, upper limbs are not uh, movable, he can operate with the uh, uh, head stick mouse. Head stick mouse is also there. This is called single hand keyboard. With one hand, with the help of fingers, he can operate the entire case. If both the upper limbs are not movable, paralyzed, or due to some ill health, uh, they are not uh, upper operatable, uh, one can uh, move the cursor with the help of foot pedal mouse. All these equipment software are available at Mysore City Library. Uh, we have installed way back in 2012 and lot of appreciation from uh, NAC peer team. Lot of appreciation from NAC team. They spent almost one and a half hours in the library seeing various uh, equipment of learning resource center for visually challenged and physically challenged students of the library. Foot pedal mouse, if both the limbs are not movable, he can operate with foot, foot pedal mouse. He can move the cursor with the help of foot mouse. Now, Million Book Project. Million Book Project is there of Urbana Campaign Digital Library of Illinois University. Their intention is to <clears throat> cover 20 lakhs books. Earlier when they started, it was million book project. Now it is 2 million project. In the way they want to convert uh, textbooks of various universities into digital format and host on their website so that student can access from any part of the world. From any part of the world, the student can access. Million book project of Illinois University. The uh, database covers uh, books scanned, about seven, seven lakh books. Indian publications are also available. 70, 1 lakh 70,000 Indian publication and 4 lakh 20,000 Chinese publication and about 20,000 Egyptian publication and various Indian languages. Various Indian languages are our books are also available. Canada, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu books are also made available under Million Book Project of Illinois University. Even you can avail the library facilities from contact libraries, British Library. They have got branches in uh, Delhi, uh, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bombay, Calcutta, and various places, Ahmedabad, like that, about eight to 10 places are there, British Library. And American Central Libraries are there in Hyderabad, Chennai, Calcutta, Delhi, and Bombay. American Central Library and British Library. They are extending, they are lending books. If you want books on loan basis for a period of two weeks, they will be sending the books through courier. 
or if you want a, a, a copy of any article which appeared in various magazines and journals procured them they are ready to xerox the article and send it to you through courier very good service they have been extending since five decades four to five decades they have been extending contact libraries british library as well as american central library then publishers are also online most of the publishers almost all publishers uh, their publications are made available online if you want the bibliographic details or if you want to verify the price especially librarians uh, if you want to verify the price of the books whatever you have procured before passing the bill we can verify the price of the books uh, the entire bibliographic details together with the format as well as the price and availability are made available on the website of the publishers you need not ask anybody you just log on to the website of the publisher and you will be getting the details of the books published by them the latest books as well as the books published by them previously almost publishers are online a major publishers oxford university press cambridge university press McGraw Hill Book Publishers, Prentice Hall, then Elsevier, very important. From Elsevier, they publish one thousand four hundred journals. Tyler and Francis again one thousand journals. Springer one thousand journals. It is very difficult for a college to bring out one quarterly journal. Here you see they are publishing one thousand journals. Springer from Germany, North Holland, Routledge. So Routledge they publish. books related to indology philosophy and related topics then academic press <clears throat> even uh, bookshops are also online bookshops you need not ask the bookshop owners to whether you possess this book or not what is the price of the book if you log on to the website of sapna book center or allied publishers or india book house uh, you will be getting information relating to the availability of these books whether the book is available or not if available you will get the complete details author joint authors title of the book edition place of publisher year of publication and name of the publisher all these details along with the price quoted by them, what price they are offering for this book all these details you will be getting sitting at home before going to the bookshops before purchasing the book you log on to the website of the uh, booksellers and you will be getting the complete details complete bibliographic data together with the price so bookshops are online and publisher also online today even newspapers news most of the newspapers are online you can read online then uh, i would like to conclude with a statement important statement that uh, knowledge is of two kinds one in knowing the information yourself and another is in knowing where you can find information upon it <coughs> this is a popular statement made by um, dr johnson for example height of mount everest are already quoted 29029 feet if you remember if you have got adequate memory you can retrieve out of memory that is one kind you cannot remember everything of your discipline it is very difficult because of information explosion and scatter of information very difficult to remember statistics and information in your discipline everything of your discipline therefore dr johnson says you need not remember any everything but if you know which source which printed source or online source or website gives what kind of information and where exactly it is available now what level uh, it is the information is uh, provided whether it is provided for children or research scholar or academicians or graduate level or post graduate level you see the level if you know the level of information whether it carries photographs and maps uh, whether it is uh, providing all this information if you know the uh, which source gives what kind of information and where exactly it is available if you are in a position to retrieve that source within 10 minutes that is also treated as a kind of knowledge 
Therefore, Dr. Johnson rightly says, either you know the information yourself or you know, you know the locus of that knowledge, where that knowledge exists, which experts knows what, even if you know the expert, what exactly is his knowledge, he is skilled in which area, that is also treated as a kind of knowledge. Therefore, he rightly says, knowledge is of two kinds, one in knowing the information yourself, and another is in knowing where you can find information upon it. So browse the net, browse the web continuously and become familiar with online resources. It is just like riding the bicycle. At, at, in the beginning, you cannot learn immediately. Uh, if you pedal the wheel continuously for about a few months or years, then you will become familiar. It becomes habitual. So browse the net and become familiar with sources of information stored on the website. So thank you very much for your patience listening. If you have got any question, uh, you can ask. Uh, if you need any clarification on any of these issues, you can ask. So whatever I have provided, if you have got anything to add to whatever I have told so far, you are welcome. So thank you very much. Any questions, any clarification, you can ask, please. Any questions and clarification? Thank Hello, you, sir. Ah, oh, yes. Can you hear me, sir? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to add this uh, with your uh, information. Nowadays, uh, SciHub uh, is, uh, is not opening any of the research journals, whatever uh, uh, we want to search. So oh. what do you think about this, sir? Like, I think they have restricted the uh, uh, usage there. So far, they have facilitated access to one crore research article and ebooks. Uh, actually, it is a violation of copyright law. But uh, people, so many publishers from United States and Great Britain, um, they have want, they wanted to attack Alexander Ibakin and sue her in the court of law, but they have failed. They have failed, but uh, the case was there in Delhi before Delhi High Court. They have delivered the word verdict that uh, really it is a violation of copyright law. It should not be practiced in our country, and uh, 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 whatever that goes on in Abe in uh, Kazakhstan, we are not concerned with that one. So really it is violation of copyright law. Sometimes it may open or sometimes it may not open, but during the past two to three months I have not tried. Because we were actually uh, during uh, offline, offline courses, uh, we were pasting URL and trying to open a research article. But, uh, later on, we provided that one. Because they made a complaint that the Academy Staff College or University of Mysore is trying to uh, see, see research articles and ebooks uh, without uh, being a subscriber. Okay. Her contention is uh, the real contributor, contributors of research papers are research scholars and teachers. Yes. Those who are making use of uh, these sources. Those who are accessing this research article are really research scholars and teachers. So while publishing their articles, you are collecting money. Yeah. Accessing their article, you are collecting money. This is actually exploiting the research scholar. This should not be done. That's very true. Sir. We have downloaded hundreds of articles with us. I have. Oh. It was such a help for us. But nowadays, I feel that some of the articles, they have restricted the uh, uh, their opening in SciHub. Ah, uh, these uh, publishers have come out with a different uh, technology to avoid that one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, only abstract uh, can open and then remaining full paper won't. Uh, 
Any questions? English literature I have left uh, galenut.com is another important website galenut.com but this is not a subscription based or uh, this is really subscription based what you get here is English literature together with the biographical details of authors authors and famous personalities <coughs> galenut.com English literature, American literature, Canadian literature, Shakespeare, and children's literature. You will be getting from galenut.com together with the biographical details and photo album of famous authors and writers. Sir, I am from a 2F12B college. Oh. The enlist facility, what has been provided, it is subscription based, no, sir? Like every year you have to subscribe to it? No, madam. Actually, uh, uh, there are 6,002F12B colleges all over India. So far, 3,750 colleges have availed the facility. The remaining 2,200 colleges, either the principal or the librarian, are not aware of the facility. This facility started way back in 2007-8. Uh, nearly 15 years have lapsed. Uh, in the beginning, they were collecting 5,000 registration fee. The service was free of cost. Here, you will be getting access to 6,500 journals and 1 lakh e-books. 1 lakh e-books. E-books from Tyler and Francis, Springer, Hindustan book, e-brary, about 1 lakh books you can access. This is not campus-wide access. This is user ID password access. They will be giving all teachers user ID and password so that they can access from home. If you have got internet facility at home, you can access these journals and e-books. So, so it is just one-time registration, sir? Uh, no. Uh, every year, uh, you are supposed to pay 5,000 registration fee. Okay. Uh, if you do not belong to 2F12B colleges, they are collecting 25,000 rupees registration fee. Earlier, you can talk to them. They were, they were sending their representatives, subject specialists, to organize orientation, one-day orientation program. They were providing 25,000 rupees to host lunch and also provide uh, remuneration for speaker, speakers. So, Who should we approach for this, sir? Or do they have it even now? or uh, uh, No, UGC Inflipnet Center. In, okay. for, uh, Inflipnet Center. I-N-F-L-I-B-N-E-T. Inflipnet Center. So, Google search, you will be getting the address and also email ID and telephone number. Telephone okay. number. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, no, you can contact them for the services. You can okay. contact them services. Sometimes they may send their representative to organize orientation program in your college. If you do not organize, they will ask you to send the request through email. They will provide you through. You can also talk to them over phone and mm -hmm. also send email so that they will get print out and store it in their file. They will provide the services if you belong to 2F12B colleges. Okay, so thank you so much. You will be getting access to 200 crore worth of journals and 200 crores. Any other question? So, thank you very much for your patience listening. I will be winding up this session. Sir, sir, one more question. Please, uh, yeah, please ask, sir. Question, Kelly, sir. Sir, uh, sir, sir uh, the index, you know, once more, one, once again, you can, while explaining, you are uh, explained about the index factor and uh, that uh, impact factor, citation, and all those things. Please, once again, you just clarify that two, those things. 
Sir, teachers are supposed to know some of these things. One is uh, H. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. H Definitely. H That's what I am asking. Impact factor. H index, impact factor. And you are supposed to publish your research article in journals which carries ISSN number. If you publish uh, books, or if you bring out books, uh, that book should carry ISBN number. Then only yes, sir. Um, uh, academic score will be there. So ISBN okay, number, sir. ISSN number is very uh, important. Essential. You are supposed mm. to publish your research article in refereed journals or peer-reviewed journals. So how yes, do you sir. calculate H-index? There is H-index for individual university, individual department, and individual faculty or research scholar. So if I okay, say sir. H index is 40, I might have published 300 mm -hmm. papers. H index mm -hmm. 40 means out of 300 articles, 40 of my articles carry minimum 40 citations. All okay. the 40 articles, every 40, every article out of 40 carries 40 citations, minimum 40 citations, 40 and more than 40 okay. citations. Okay, sir. So sometimes the UGC says, why the librarians are particular about H index? Why can't you go for I10 criterion? I10 criterion mm -hmm. means how many of your articles are cited by 10 and more than 10 authors. I10 80 mm -hmm. means 80 of my papers have been cited by more than 10 and more than 10 authors. So G index mm -hmm. is also there. G4 means 4 into 4, 16. All the four articles carry more than 16 citations. M index is also there. But impact factor speaks about the quality of the journal you are going to select. How do you calculate okay. impact factor? Total number of articles. To, sorry, for, okay. uh, total number of articles published in that journal. For example, Talenta is a monthly journal in the discipline of okay. So on average, if each, art, each issue carries 10 articles, over a period of mm -hmm. one year, for 12 months, there will be 120 articles. For two mm -hmm. years, there will be 240 articles. How many mm -hmm. references have appeared taken from this talent uh, for three years? Mm -hmm. Say 1,000 references have appeared in various chemistry journals taken from mm -hmm. this particular journal, talent. Uh. So 1,000 total number of references appeared in various journals divided by number of articles appeared in talent. Uh. 240. Okay. 1,000 mm -hmm. divided by 240, that is 4.18 is the impact factor. Anything, okay, okay. anything above three is good. If you publish your mm -hmm. research article in a journal whose impact factor is 10, it is equivalent mm -hmm. to successfully guiding for a doctorate degree. Doctorate okay, degree. Okay. For example, uh, Nature. Nature is a mm -hmm. uh, weekly journal, Definitely. the discipline of general science from London. Mm -hmm. uh, impact okay. factor of Nature as of today is 69.9. The oh. best journal in the field of general science from India, Indian Academic Science, current science, mm. you must be familiar with current science. Most of the libraries are getting current science. Uh, it is a fortnightly publication. A uh, few years ago, the Impact factor of current science is 1.19. Where is 1.19 and where is 69.9? Therefore, if you publish one article in current science, one article in nature, it is more than publishing 20 articles in current science. Therefore, if you publish research articles in journals carrying high impact factor, the value will be more. Value will be more. It is equivalent to successfully guiding for a doctorate degree covering five years period. One page article in Nature is equivalent to successfully guiding for a doctorate degree. That is the stipulation of UGC. So, any any other question? Yeah, Thank you, sir. Opening uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. There are no queries. Okay. okay. I would like to thank. Uh, I wish. Uh, I request one of the participants to uh, propose vote of thanks to Professor Dr. C. P. Ramses, sir. I request one of the participants.
Thank you, Ramji sir, sir. Oh, yeah, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Ram Shesha, sir. Very good information given. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, sir. Uh, dear participants, uh, this two 